Hello guys and welcome to this new video. It is intended to be watched by DJI. And we know sometimes DJI watches our videos and maybe this one doesn't fall apart. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about the Phantom 5 and the Spark 2, which position they should occupy inside DJI's product list, the price, the features we expect, and the competition that it may get in the future. Kind of a business plan for those products, yes? You're welcome, DJI. We talked last week here about DJI moving from the drone market exclusively into a new camera and maybe action sports market because of the increasing restrictions in the past months and you may want to watch it. I'll leave you the link in the description. Well, let's start with the real need that the market, which means us, demand. First, we've talked a lot about the Phantom 5 and being the Phantom 4 Pro, the top consumer drone out there, we kind of all agree that there is no real need of an enhanced Phantom 5. Basically, because also the Mavic 2 series is still inferior to the Phantom series, even though they are pretty, pretty similar. This means, why should you push a new Phantom 5 if you don't even have the need to it? And as this would mean that it could be a sales flop. And now talking about the Spark 2, the market does really demand an under 500 bucks drop. Resistant, good build quality, a good camera and a good gimbal, and most important, a nice 4K, please. The Spark has been out there for two years and unlike the Phantom 4 Pro, competition has arised and created nice products with better capabilities than the Spark. And with all the laws and problems out there, a small and tiny drone, or even for playing with your kids in your backyard, rather than buying a big drone, a Spark is needed. And we all kind of know that the Spark 1 has capabilities already to film in 4K. So basically, summing up, the market demands the capabilities of a Mavic Air into a Spark for less than 500 bucks. Now, which features do we expect? Well, for the Phantom 5, it should be created to fill the void, probably between a Mavic 2, which is more intended to travelers and semi-pro filmmakers, and the Inspire series. The Inspire series is way out of this league and something around 2 or 3k bucks with advanced professional capabilities would be a hit. What would we expect to have as features on the Phantom 5? Well, of course, the space. Uh, somehow it should take less space for transporting and for that we can give you a few possibilities. Retractable landing gear, which means the possibility of folding the arms when transporting it. N not even a real need to be automatic. You can replicate the design of the Inspire landing gear, for example. And with this idea, we get to the next point, which could be a 360 camera. If you had that retractable landing gear in flight, like an Inspire 2, you could attach that 360 camera and have some nice and revolutionary aerial imagery. And now the question, what would you rather have? A 360 camera, a zoom lens, or interchangeable lenses. Well, I would like to have them all, honestly. <laughs> let's, let's think about it. Now that we've seen the Mavic 2 zoom, having a Phantom 5 without a capability at least of zooming would be kind of strange. And if the Mavic series has a zoom version, we would expect the Phantom series with a zoom to be slightly better, with a so-called maybe fast lens getting more luminosity and all that. And also, of course, having a Hasselblad at least one inch sensor, but with all that real capabilities, not like the Mavic 2 Pro. That technology, but improved on a Phantom 5, because we all know about the Mavic 2 Pro issues with the camera, and it can be much more improved, of course. What about interchangeable lenses? A lot has been talked about this. And if you want to keep a distance from the Mavic series, you have to offer something that the Mavics don't have. Interchangeable lenses are a real option. If you don't have the money for an Inspire, but you know, still want some great quality and professional system, a Phantom 5 with those kind of lenses would be the greatest option. What about the OQ-Sync 2.0? Of course, it should be included so that we could use our smart controller with it and no need of purchasing a Plus version with the built-in screen. About all other connectivity, sensors and all that, we expect the same pack from the Mavic 2 Pro to be enough. Finally, of course, a better processor that would improve the overall capabilities of the drone. For example, better HDR processing, enhanced flight modes, tracking performances, better surrounding sensing systems and all that that a processor does. Now let's ask if we could have a bit more of battery time. Well, that would be a wish anyway. The frame of the Spark right now is good enough. Key will be to be easy and solid and we would like to see kind of the same drone, but with better technologies. The drone is super resistant. We did an amazing crash test, which turned out to be great. I have to say, I'm a big fan of the Spark and I've been traveling with it and shooting and it's great for the price. 
and the space that it takes in your backpack, but it's time to renew its face. That line for beginners, kids, should be maintained, but we should be able to see it with 4K. Better connectivity, of course, to avoid losing signal so fast and an improved smart gesture control. 4K should be basic now for all DJI drones, so not much talking about this. We had a lot of problems here in Europe with the connectivity and the Wi-Fi and all that, so we did lose signal quite often if you aren't really in an open area, if you have forest and trees. Improving that would be really great. The smart gesture control was great, but too complicated and maybe too slow. If they could come out with a funnier and easier and faster way to use that, I would be the first one having fun with it. For sure. And now let's talk a little bit about the price. You know that the Phantom 4 Pro has been out of stock for a while now and DJI pushes you to buy the Mavic 2 Pro for the same price. An improved Phantom, just a basic package, we believe should be between $2,000 and $3,000. More around to $400 and $2,500. With a great combo you should not get over 3k. The Spark should be definitely below 500 US dollars. Right now it is priced at 400 and we'd expect to lower that price or even disappear the Spark one. But what about combos? Because combos you have to think a little bit. We like combos as long as they are optional, such as spare batteries, spare props, prop guards and all that. But a Spark should come always with a controller and I should not have to buy the whole combo for just the controller. For finishing this video, Let's talk a little bit about the competition and launching dates. For the Phantom series, as there is no real face-to-face -face competition out there, we can't really expect competition once DJI releases a newer and better Phantom. We know all those hotel drones unique, they are good drones and they should be on your list when purchasing a drone, but in terms of quality, <clears throat> sorry, they are still one step behind. However, DJI should be ready as those brands will catch up sooner or later and they will be eating part of DJI's market. That said, we don't expect the Phantom 5 coming anytime soon and we've said that 200,000 times. Not this year, maybe next or even in 2021. Something completely different happens in the Spark case. A Spark 2, I would like to see it as soon as possible. For this summer, I think it's too late, but maybe for Christmas. Competition is really hard and the market is demanding the improved Spark. So Christmas or maybe the Black Friday could be a real nice option. Well guys, this was the video for today. We thought that it was time to talk again about drones because as we mentioned in the video last week, DJI is moving a little bit about around out of the drone market and creating cameras and all that. So drones are have not been really hot anymore in the past months. So we thought, okay, let's do this. What do you guys think about this? Everything what we just said, do you agree? Don't you agree? Do you think that there is something that the Phantom 5 should have that we didn't mention or you just want to have it right now? You don't want to wait or the Spark 2. The Spark, we have it right here. We are big fans and anyway, we expect a Spark 2 or maybe another drone with the same capabilities improved in the future, in the near future coming. So please let us know in the comments. You know that we always answer. Either Chivo or me are 24 seven there <laughs> answering all the comments and we have fun answering and we have fun with you guys as a community so nothing really else to say always remember to keep calm hit the bell because we know that you don't get to see our videos because they don't show up at you at your feed so hit the bell nothing really else to say also the thumb if you thought that this was helpful remember always to keep calm and talk to you baby. <laughs>